Hello everyone, this is a keypad flex for the stove. I don't know what the, this, what stove is this one. Gonna check later. So some uh, some buttons here. It's not work. This is our conductive uh, paint or conductive ink. So this is not a copper, like uh, you can scratch it and solder the jumper, you can do that. And if we look here, if you can see it, the color of this, uh, let's see from this side. The color of some traces is look brown or corrosion that's the bad traces so I test all these top traces are good just say test from here to to one of these pits and it's all good and they test these traces here this one and this flex cable most of them are bad but I'm gonna do all of them So let me see if I can show you. Like if I go from this one here, the second one. So you need to follow the trace all the way to here. So we just we're gonna get gonna get this one inside that hole like this and we're gonna put it here number two and we have a hundred and thirty seven ohm so there is some some resistance and connection between here and that spit. So that's a good one. The ones here in the bottom, this is kind of a little bit hard to, to test. Because it's not clear which pad is go for. But I scratch a little bit because there is the the UV mask. This blue color is a UV mask. So there is some UV mask over the, the traces. So I scratch a little bit. So from here to here, no connection. Of course to here, no connection. But if I go from here, this is, is gonna be the first pair, the first pin. And if I go to here, you can see there is some resistance to here. Forty-four ohm. So I'm going to make a jumper from here to here, and I'm going to use a uh, conductive ink. And this silver here, oh. let me see. So this is base a silver plant can see the name over there this is has a silver on it and this one has a little balls microscopic balls that's that's really make a good connection this one here this pen here it work but this is a nickel this not 
is no good for something flex plus the resistance in this one is very high so I test the silver before and the work uh, very good So yeah, let me already I scratch this one, the first, and this trace and this trace. I'm gonna scratch the other ones to take just the UV mask from the top of it. And I'm gonna use the microscope to show you. So you don't need to scratch it hard because you're gonna take the whole trace.
So we rebuilt uh, the traces. Yeah, as I show you in the microscope, I I removed the UV mask on the top of the traces to get through the the conductive uh, paint. Then I uh, I put this conductive ink or paint. So the, this is a silver, which has a high. Uh, it has a very low resistance. The conductivity is very high and just make the traces like this so now we have to leave it like 24 hours is more more it's dry more uh, the lower uh, resistance we get yeah just be sure that the traces is not uh, touching each other yeah, you can bend it now because the paint still uh, half dry and we don't want no cracks in the paint. So when the, the stuff is inside mixed with the silver is dry, the little silver ball is going to be the microscopic uh, silver uh, balls is going to be touching each other. That's how this conductive ink works from what the customer said this uh, this stove is expensive it's not a cheap uh, one and there is no part no available part for it there is the board there is everything except uh, this keypad So we'll test it and see how it's uh, go. So here, the paint is not uh, dry yet, but we can uh, see how it's go. So we have 55 ohm. That's good. We have 49 ohm. I scratch like a uh, long uh, area. When I put the conductive ink, I didn't pour it all over the scratch. I left a spot where I can use my uh, probe, my multimeter probe, to test the conductivity to here, to this point. So 50 ohm, because it's kind of hard to test, to follow these traces inside the board. This is a plastic film, is in the third layer so the third one here is 50 ohm the fourth one There is 46 ohm, so that's that's better. More dry is more uh, conductivity is gonna go. So here 53. So here now it's dry. It should be good to uh, to finish this in it. I make a map of the buttons here. This balance is is here, and if you look at this uh, flex cable here, there is two layers. There is one here and one here. You can see them. So there is some traces here and some traces here. So we have from one to thirteen. I give uh, just the pen. I give this side the pen number one and the other side is number 13. So if I look at this uh, here from the the bottom trace the bottom traces is this one we have so we have the pen number two going all the way to number eight and I put them here from one to eight and uh, the top traces 
the top, top traces is from is a 1 5 9 10 11 12 and 13 and this is how we test it just to give you idea so I put the let's put the match mirror Move the melt matter here. We put the melt matter in the the ohm, the resistance, so we can uh, measure the ohms. See if any change. Then we put the pen at number one. So I don't need to uh, to go with the five. I put one, two, one, three, tail each. And they start measuring shell each. Then, like I put it in number one and two, and they push all the buttons here. So I'm gonna try to flip it. So I put this one in number one, and the other one in number two. Then I push all the buttons to see if there is any change. And they got no change then I go to number two one and two then I do uh, the same way and I keep going chair number each when I reach the number eight then I put the uh, the probe in the number five and I start testing again from one to each and they keep going till that till I found uh, so we have Okay, from one, number one and number five, I didn't get no connection to here, but when I reach the, the number nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, from nine to one, of course, is, uh, is not going to be, is going to be nothing, it's, I just touch as nothing, then, so from nine to five, we have this button. So you can see the number, the resistance, we have some connection. So, and this button here, this one is a 924. You can see it. So I put the one, this one in the number nine, then I start putting it like in number two, and they test all the buttons till I find which button is controlled. Then I go to the to next to nine and five. Then I push all the buttons till I see which one it's go for. Nine and two. Nine and two is this button here. Another example like uh, eleven, eleven and two. So let's put this one in 11, so 11 here, 11 and 2 shall be the timer, timer 1 or timer, yeah, timer 1. Eleven and three is timer number one, and we keep going uh, like that. So I test all the buttons; all of them do work. There is a connection, and uh, so this is how you fix the flexible printed traces and. Uh, Thank you for watching. See you next one.